Hey everyone, today I'm doing a different video. Today I'm at the coin star machine because I'm turning all my spare change, yeah, my spare change into Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is down a thousand dollars right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and show uh, what it's gonna be like once I get all my change and convert it to Bitcoin. All right, so our total is going to be at 1128. They're gonna take out a fee for charging all my coins because my ticket's too big event. Um, and then we'll see how much it is. I do have some cash that was also in the, the piggy bank here. And we're gonna change that into Bitcoin also. All right, so here's our voucher here from the Coinstar. 1128 is gonna be our uh, money back. $1.68 was the transaction fee. And then next we're going to buy Bitcoin. But we're gonna cash this in first over at the customer service. All right, so like I did mention before, I do pick cash inside my piggy bank. Um, so I'm at $30, $40 right now. Actually, let me double check. Uh, $40. So I'm gonna put $40 in Bitcoin right now. So how you do this is you're gonna go to this, and we're gonna go to buy Bitcoin right there. Uh, make sure you have your phone with you and also your ID. I don't know if they might say anything, make you take a picture of your ID, send it to some weird thing. But um, normally, I know you're supposed to have your phone with you and your phone number. So we're just waiting for the screen here to load. It's gonna ask you a few things about CoinMe. Uh, make sure you make a CoinMe account on your phone. And we're gonna go to I understand. It will charge you a fee, as it says right there. And you gotta enter in your phone number. I'm just gonna fast forward this. All right, phone number's in. And Bitcoin only receives dollars. You can't put change in there. So you're gonna have to just put dollar amounts in there. And I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. Uh, the reason why I'm buying Bitcoin right now and using all my change in my piggy bank uh, is because it's just extra money left over and Bitcoin is about a thousand dollars lower than what it is normally. I think it's at nine, ninety-two hundred dollars and normally I see it about ten thousand this past month. Um, so we'll go ahead and check it out. So this is what it's going to look like here. That's the average cost of Bitcoin right now, what it's going for. So it did jump within the last 30 minutes of me going over here and you just insert your cash and then I'll give you a transaction fee and total Bitcoins purchase so I'm gonna put the money in and then you guys will see what it looks like so I put four dollars in and it seems like every dollar it's charging about uh, a couple cents uh, four cents or so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the full amount in there so you guys can see what the total transaction fee is and again, if you're gonna buy Bitcoin, you normally don't do it this way. I'm just doing it this way because I have all this change in my piggy bank. Normally you would wanna buy Bitcoin from a uh, good website online or something, so. All right, so $40 worth of Bitcoin, $1.60 is the fee. I have this price locked in for another three minutes. Uh, it is kind of high, but since I'm using my change out of my piggy bank, I really don't care. Uh, I would care if I was buying it online, but right now I just don't care because it's just changed. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like once it's done. All right, so now we're just waiting for a transaction to be processed. A receipt will come out there, and then you'll go ahead and scan it into your app. So there we go. And just for safe measures, I would take a picture of the screen with your uh, receipt out just in case if anything weird goes on, you know. The last thing you would want is to get one of these coupons with all the money you just put in and it not work, so. There you go, and that's how you buy Bitcoin through Coinstar using only change from your piggy bank. All right guys, so as you've seen, I just got back from Fred Meyer, no, Safeway, and I just got back from the Coinstar machine and now I gotta download the CoinMe app to redeem my $40 no, it's, well, it's actually going to be $38.40. There is a $1.60 transaction fee. Um, like I said, this is a good way to use your spare change to buy Bitcoin if you're not really wanting to invest a lot of money in it. You just use your spare change, go to the Coinstar, redeem your change for cash, which there is a fee for. Um, it's very small, though, especially if you're just using your change. And then once you get your cash, you go back to the Coinstar, put your money in, buy the Bitcoin. There's a lot of steps, but it's very easy. Um, this is kind of just something to help everybody get empowered. You know, I really believe in taking responsibility for your own finances and, you know, basically investing in yourself. And I feel like this is 
this is the future and this is investing in yourself you might not see it a year from now two years from now but it's definitely gonna be something big uh, I remember hearing about this when I was in high school and now it's it's freaking almost ten thousand dollars a Bitcoin so it's, it's freaking crazy I remember when Bitcoin was only like 200 and something dollars a Bitcoin so I've seen it grow over the years and I definitely want to jump on the wagon and I'm just trying to be smart about it do the research make sure you're buying your Bitcoin from reputable sources uh, I trust this coin me coin star thing you know that's why I'm just doing little bits at a time I'm sure once I start doing more research and doing more searching I'm gonna be able to recommend a couple more places but thank you guys for watching sorry I can't show you going me going into the app and putting my funds on there because I'm not really sure on how to do that on the iPhone I'm not very tech savvy when it comes to that kind of stuff I'm still learning but um, there's tons of good videos out there that I'll show you how to transfer your funds from your coin me or your coin me vouchers onto your coin me account so you guys take care and be safe and I'll see you later